For a film which marks the culmination of Peter Jackson's 13-year journey into the fantastical mind of J.R.R. Tolkien, The Hobbit The Battle of the Five Armies was always going to be more than just a really time-consuming to say title. So long? <laughs> so long! It was either going to satisfy the masses tremendously, or it was going to finally put this drawn-out fanfare to bed way past its bedtime. It's true. You've won the mountain, is that not enough? Now, we defend it. I came to reclaim something of mine. Now for all you cave dwellers out there who have miraculously rubbed two sticks together and somehow found a way to create the internet, kudos to you, you crazy caveman people. Uh, the Hobbit saga is actually quite simple. Bilbo Baggins doesn't know his arse from his elbow. Suddenly, a wizard comes along and says, Hey you, you fat pointless loser, stop eating all those custard tarts. Wanna follow some strangers and come kill a dragon? He agrees, and they break his mum's china. So they all set out on this amazing adventure where they try and reclaim the Lonely Mountain and the Dwarf Throne from a fire-breathing Benedict Cumberbatch. Along the way they bump into the likes of Legolas and Saruman and even Agent Smith from The Matrix as a sort of origin story unfolds ahead of the Lord of the Rings saga. So then... So then Martin Freeman's Bilbo bumps into Gollum. Remember him? The one played by Andy Serkis. Yeah, he crawls everywhere. He lives his life on the floor. And they have this Middle Earth rap exchange, and suddenly the Ring of Power is Bilbo's, and thus becomes the catalyst for the rest of the Lord of the Rings saga. Ha <laughs> ha! Future tales told before. Ian McKellen plays a wizard. He's a, he plays a guy called Gandalf who's got a big beard. There is no Patrick Stewart to be seen. They're best friends. <laughs> Spiders happen, giant trolls, orcs, giant snakes, there aren't any giant snakes, uh, deers and elves and beasts and spells, and even to the first sightings of Sauron and the Urukai. That all happens. Now, Thrain, he is the heir to the Dwarf Throne. It's him that must take back the Lonely Mountain and take out the evil dragon Smaggy Smogor, Smagamaga, Smaggy Malman Rushdie. And, uh, he has a bit of a mental because of his kleptomaniac ancestry and such, and while he's having this breakdown, all these other armies turn up and try and claim the mountain for themselves, but like the government will your grandparents' money come inheritance tax, until suddenly Billy Connolly shows up on a giant pig, gets thrown horny for battle, it kicks off, and it ends. Now, things happen, equilibrium ensues, and Bilbo makes it home. Great story. Now forget my nonchalant Hobbit history for a second because I actually really enjoyed this film. It's by far my favourite of the three and rightly so because it's just a great way to end the saga which didn't get off to the best start. Now regardless of the 3000 names all beginning with a th sound which I'm still struggling to comprehend, you've got to sit back and marvel at the epic scale of what Jackson has done across these last 13 years. I mean look, there's a giant dragon, who doesn't like a giant dragon? There's the whole thing feels like a life-size game of Hero Quest. Who doesn't like that? There's amazing battle scenes. There's, there's Legolas, which, who is simply a ridiculous individual. My god, there's a, there's, a, there's a bridge scene, which is... I've never seen anything like it. Forget Jesus walking on water, people. Legolas. The Hobbit The Battle of the Five Armies was a good movie. It may have some ridiculous aspects to it, it's going to be torn apart by critics I'm sure who didn't like it as much as Lord of the Rings, which is a much darker series. This is a much more family orientated film. I for one think it's something that you should definitely go and see, it's the best of the three, and although it might not be quite as inviting as a fantasy film, it's definitely worth just watching those little dwarfs before they have to work for Christmas. Shit, the egg.